So we've imported our base map as X, Y, Z tiles. And you might be wondering what coordinate reference system these base maps are using. And you may be wondering what coordinate reference system QGIS is using. Well, we can check that. Uh, one way is to go into Project and Properties. And that will, will bring up this panel here. It might start on General, um, but a couple of options down. You have CRS. And here you can see we're using WGS84 Pseudo Mercator. And there's actually a, a quicker way of looking for that. Right down in, in the bottom right corner, uh, you actually have the coordinate reference system in shorthand there. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the CRS. If you click on that, by the way, it'll bring up the, the interface where you can change it to. And if I look at Google Satellite Image, if I right click on that, Layer CRS um, will tell me that it's actually using the same coordinate reference system. And that's because QGIS will set the project CRS to the CRS of the first uh, layer that you bring in. Okay, so it's set it to the same as Google Satellite. That's the default. And, and that's fine and works very well across the globe. But if you remember back to our lecture on the introduction to GIS, in the UK, uh, we usually work in the Ordnance Survey British National Grid. And a lot of the files that you work with that might come from other organizations will be set to the British National Grid. Um, so how is that going to play with our different coordinate reference systems? Well, I can bring in a file that's actually set to the British National Grid to illustrate that. If I navigate using my browser to find that file, um, it's actually one of the files that I've uh, given to you guys on Brightspace in, in the resources folder, and it's called uh, Watercourse or Watercourse Link. And if you drag that either to the layers or to uh, the, the map itself, that will import the shapefile. I'll tell you more about shapefiles shortly. Now, if I zoom into Ipswich here and the rivers specifically, you can see that these very accurately follow the rivers, even the very small rivers, they're essentially going straight down the middle. So that's very well projected onto this uh, coordinate reference system, the project coordinate reference system. I can, I can show you just to prove that it is the British National Grid. In, in that one, and Google Satellite is using a different coordinate reference system. You might think it's a good idea to set the project coordinate reference system to the same as the shapefiles that you're going to be using, and for many reasons it is. And so we can we can try that and see what happens. If you click on the bottom right, it'll bring up the, the menu to change it. And I've got British National Grid showing here because it's recently used, but if it's not showing, uh, you can search for it by typing British National Grid, and it should show me two options. Um, and the one we want is the one that says 27700. So you select that and apply. Okay, and everything still lines up very, very well. But what it's doing now is it's projecting the, the other way. So it's reprojecting Google Satellite onto the British National Grid, which is great. But there is an issue, uh, and it shouldn't affect us as long as we want to work in the UK. But if you want to try and zoom out, QGIS struggles more and more to reproject. And it works very well around the UK, but when you get to larger extents, and it will take a long time to draw, things start to look more and more distorted. It's really struggling to project it, and it's doing a terrible job. So that approach is fine as long as you stay zoomed into the UK. But in fact, you shouldn't run into too many problems if for the time being, you leave the coordinate reference system uh, set to the pseudo Mercator. However, if at any point you find that things start to look a bit distorted or when you try to import a layer, it's not projecting in the right place or it's not showing up at all, it could mean you have to change the coordinate reference system of the project.